Alrighty, hey everybody, it's SK again playing us in Final Fantasy XI. I am here for vengeance. This motherfucker said he was level 55, or at least the, the add-on said he was level 55. He just aggroed me. That, that scares me. I didn't even have it, like, he just straight up saw me. But anyway, I came here with a full set of trusts because nobody puts baby in a corner. Damn it. Did he just, did he just sleep me? Ow, I maybe I just didn't press the button correctly. That's fine enough. Uh, that's that's how it works, I suppose. Why does it sound so ungodly loud? Oh, again. I, my headset turned up again for some reason. I gotta be careful how I, like, handle this thing when I put it on. Because apparently I'm turning the music up super loud in my ear and then I'm starting to think that, like, the in-game sound is way too loud and then I'm turning it down and then you guys can hear shit, etc, etc. Purple monkey dishwasher. Yeah, this guy is, like, way fucking stronger than level 55! Yo! The uh, uh, third party thingy in the top left corner, you, you need to make sure that hey, that information just seems a bit more accurate, cause uh yeah, this this is this is no fucking level 55, man. Hell no. This guy is actually probably like level 80 or something, cause he is not having this shit. To the point where actually he's kinda starting to piss me off now. So I'm going to murder him now. Now, Shantoto, you do your thing. And now he's probably going to get nuked, I hope. Okay. Uh, she did 1700 damage and it did 2400 damage and it did nothing. What the fuck? How did he just heal? He has fucking benediction? I'm sorry, did that heal 18,000 dam- 18,000 health? This motherfucker has 18,000 health? Excuse me! Holy shit, no wonder this guy's taking forever to kill. So if he was at like... 40% HP when I dropped my 2 hour... Holy shit, that's like 30,000 HP! Jesus! Alright, that explains some things. Um... Hey, but hey, like, for later, um... Please, please help me. Please, please do anything. Please, please, pretty please, please. I, I'm begging you, cause I'm, I'm, yeah. I, I will pop defender, cause right now I'm apparently fucking tanking here, and I, I would like to not tank, please. I am not, I am not tankinessism. So if you could, like, uh, how the hell did I rip hate off of this guy? Helena rules like a god among men. How the fuck? I'm gonna use perfect counter because I can. I mean, I guess there's no point except to just use it at this point. Is it possible to actually miss the counter? It tends to counter rock, but okay. Well, that answers that question, huh? Okay, good to know. Oh shit, monkeys. Is this really gonna take like... Oh my good lordy Jesus. Alright, so if I'd realized this was going to take like... 10 minutes, I probably wouldn't have... I probably would have saved it for the end of the episode, not the beginning. But I guess this is nice padding or some shit. Hello, play. Hey, I finally got him back down to 50% HP. Sweet. Now OP Shantoto can do this thing and do like fucking six percent of his health bar. Holy god. 1784. 2488. And it did like 10% of his HP. Good god almighty. So yes, uh, I, I'm realizing that um my attempt to think like, oh hey, an NM, I can solo him that that was folly. Just, just a little bit, just a little teeny tiny bit, just a wee bit, because uh, this dude's fucking me up. So it's been about four minutes, I guess, since the fight started. I don't know why I'm guys, why I'm giving you guys the play-by-play of just how long it's been. You've watched the video, so you obviously know how long the fight's been. But uh, can, can I, can I not fucking tank? Could that be a thing that we could do? Hey, Valeneral, could you, um, you know? have it within your heart to, uh, like, provoke him, please? Oh god, he- he does not- he does not want anything to do with me. 
Fuck. Hey, cool. Somehow that worked. Oh, thank you, Shantoto. You, you beautiful, crazy psycho, you. Whoa. What did I get? That That's a lot of stuff for, like, an NM. Usually they just drop nothing. Crimson Blade, 49. These, these fucking, like, they had 30,000 HP and was hitting me for a Mac, like, a Mac goddamn truck is a level 80. You can't goddamn tell me he's supposed to be a level 50 mob. So I got a Damascus ingot. A veined alloy ingot is rotten in the manor taught in land far to the south. And a crimson blade, which is... Like, eh. That's actually a rather eh spell. Okay. So hey, vengeance has been wrought. Kalu Uh Now, let's go ahead and finish this quest from last episode. I kind of feel like an asshole for not completing that last episode. But actually, off camera, uh, I spent probably another, like, 35-40 minutes killing goblins because I did not realize that, one, uh, it actually showed wherever it dropped, like, the key items actually drop in this window, where it says the chunk of smoked goblin grub, which is why I couldn't find it and why I didn't see it, and two, that it actually is just a random drop and I got obscenely, obscenely lucky the first time. So, let's go back and figure out which is where the hell I'm supposed to go again. Where I-10 and I-9 meets J-9 and J-10... Where I-9 and I-10 meet J-9 and J-10. So... Like... Okay, so over this way then. At this point I can probably just get rid of the trusts because I don't... I don't say I don't need them for anything. That seems kind of... You know... Not self-effacing. That's actually the exact opposite of self-effacing. That seems kind of, you know, shitty. They help me kill Rockman over there. And I don't mean Mega Man. But at the same time, I kind of don't need him right now. But on the other other hand, like, they're here and it can't possibly hurt to just do something with them, so why not? Good looks Grease Maw, how you doing? Now, I don't want- how did I- what? Did I just send myself a whisper? No, I just started to. Okay, that's cool. This guy is going to die very, very quickly. But I'm a little bit proud of myself in a really twisted kind of way. I actually managed to pull hate off of what's a doodle. I pulled hate off of Laneral. That seems, I don't say unconscionable, but it kind of is. And more so, I'm just fucking amazed Shantoto hasn't managed to pull hate off, off of him except once or twice. So apparently I was I hit so many crits in a row that he was just like, nope, you're fucking dead. And then he popped his freaking benediction. What the hell kind of a... What what class was he? He was like... He had bard spells and, you know, he did some sort of like sneak attack shit and then he used benediction. Like, what the hell is the meaning of this shenaniganry? You're screwing with me, game. That's not what I want to do. Survivor guy, please, and thank you. Let's teleport over to Quiffum. Which is where this quest continues. Or mission, I, I don't even know at this point. I get the seed spall key items. Return to the question mark, question mark, ouchies, question mark at G6 and examine it for a cutscene. You guys can probably hear the eeeet of this thing moving because it's so sensitive. Uh, G6. Go fish. Oh, yeah, 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 it's in between all of these weird freaking things over here, right? These weird things being, I guess, tree stumps? Or... Are those trees? Or are they just rocks or something? Like this stuff. I'm assuming they're just, like, calcified tree trunks or something like that? I don't know. And isn't this the area that basically got blown to shit when they blew up one of the, uh... One of those crag reactor things, or whatever the hell they are? If I'm understanding this properly. Yay, lore! I like it when I understand the game's lore more. Excuse me. There you go. Thank you, game. Ah, oh, there you are. I've been waiting for you. You know how creepy it is that you fly like that? Just saying. Were you able to recover the dabba 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 da speed souls? Yes, I have. Ah, 
Wonderful. Oh yeah, that, that seems like that's teeming with joy and wonder. These shards are sure to tell us something. Let us see what secrets they hold. This is gonna get love crafting real freaking quick, isn't it? What's this? There is another verse? An antiphon. A response to the Lay of Destruction. An undiscovered verse with the power to silence the raging echo. I'm gonna be honest, it's been so long since I've done the other one that I kind of forgot some of the storyline here, so bear with me, I'm just kind of like, what? A chorus with the power to channel the love, the will to live of all who sing it into a clarion call. A call that will cut through the echo of destruction, restoring order from chaos. An ode to appease the ancient gods. Yes, this is the answer we seek. You! Said the Faceless Void. I told you this shit was going to get Cthulian. It's a mand- They're sending mandragoras? Meddling child, why do you interfere? Beep boop, beep boop. Who do you think you are to defy the will of the Seed Crystal? To defy your own fate! Ah! The Seed Crystal is nothing but an echo. A faint shadow of the past. Met but child, do you not see? It is the echo that your own beating heart, of your own breath, of every life born of this world since the time of creation. Within the Echo, all are one, as it has been since before the dawn of time. This is kind of, it is kind of like super Cthulian here. I mean, I'm not really like, not Cthulian, Lovecraftian. To be fair, I'm not like the biggest aficionado of Lovecraftian, but the idea, from what I understand, is that there's this sort of like, evil, impenetrable, madness-inducing thing that is responsible for the creation of the universe, and the more information you seek, the closer you get to it, and once you finally get to it, you're just like, my brain can't compute this, and you go fleeing back into the comforting darkness of ignorance. Something to that effect. With the echo of life that resound through the ages, it will not be silenced by the likes of you! We're being attacked by mandragoras. So, let's pull out the... B slash C team. I forgot that I didn't change their names here. But that's fine. Trust 2 is the same thing. I'll pull out the B team this time. But if I'm to understand, they're saying that this 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 crystalline prophecy, this crystal is showing up being like, yo, um, when this music starts playing, uh, you gotta drop it like a tot or something to that effect. I, I can't remember the rest of or even if that's the same song, I may have just mixed my hip hop music. Um so this song is playing basically supposed to be like the, the, the Requiem, like the beginning of the Requiem, the, the death knell of this world as I know it, as it gets sort of like sucked back into the void or some shit. Excuse me? I beg your pardon? I mean, that's fine. I'm, I'm one-shotting these bitches because, you know, they're like... Freaking level one Mandragora is trying to kill me here. Like, what the hell is the meaning of this shit? Come here, you want to start shit with me? I'm getting attacked by level one, like, demon Mandy's? Like, what is this? Like, go F yourself, Mandragora. What am I supposed to be doing other than murdering all of these things? Also, am I actually in a battlefield right now? I'm a little bit concerned by the fact that... Um... All of these guys are showing up. Do they stop? Otherwise, I wouldn't be spending a lot of time murdering these things for no reason. To complete the battle. Okay, look. I think I may be missing the point of this. Perhaps. Because these are all, like, level ones. And they think they can kill me. I don't know why they think that. Because that's silly pants. They're level one and I'm not. I actually don't know why I even buffed. As mentioned, these are all level ones. So I'm assuming at a certain point... Uh, a big bad's gonna be showing up and be like, No, you killed all my my beauties, my pretties, my my wondrous little sheep mandies. 
This, this reminds me of that one YouTube video where it's like 40 level 1s versus 1 DK sort of thing. So... Am I missing the point of this? I mean, I'm getting some sweet ass... Can I use the Quiff Amylum Conflict thing for this? Let me see if I can cheese this. Oh, did I win? Obtained key item, Amber Key. Did I win? The level restriction wore off. There was a level restriction for that? I mean, okay. The seed crystal, its echo. They did not rise from nothingness. They were drawn to this world by a song. A song that rings out in care- excuse me, that rings out ceaselessly from within a mother's heart. Huh? Mortals, do you not see? You were dealing with powers far beyond your control. So the seed crystal is like, I guess, the mother crystal they're talking about? So, I mean, okay, so the lore is, it all started with a stone, right? A crystal that created the gods, created the worlds, yada, 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 yada. A lot of the five major crags have crystals, like maybe portions of the mother crystal, I think. And that this song, maybe it's, it's the, the, the mother crystal is wailing for, for silence, for control, or for something like that. The seed crystal, huh? Oh, that oversized slab of rock has a name. Oh, hey! Hello, regular Aldo. How are you? I had a hunch that following that crystal would lead me somewhere. Looks like this is where things start to get interesting. Do you not see a younger version of yourself just chilling in the snow, all, like, demon-possessed-like? Well, Matt, I see you've got a nose for trouble. Or I still got a nose for trouble. Now, what an Altana's good name is going on here. What were those overgrown bean sprouts blathering on about? A song within a mother's heart? Ah. So you must be Aldo. Yes. You have your sister's eyes. Excuse me? What? Boy, what did you just say now? I like this man. Is it? Boy, what the fuck? Finally, we meet. Uncle. Uh, boy, what? What? Huh? Mother made. Mother named me Aldo, too. After you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! His only sister is Verena, isn't it? Was she getting freaky with somebody? Just one minute, kid. Are you saying your mom is my sister? That you're Emmeline's son? Wait, who's Emmeline? Who the hell is Emmeline? I thought it, I thought he, his sister was just Verena. My sister still lives? I'm afraid we have no time to celebrate this family reunion now, Uncle. Wait, what? We must unearth and release the antiphon. And quickly, before the ancient echo reduces our world to so many pieces of shattered crystal. Luckily, you may just prove to be the key to it all, Uncle Aldo. Yes. You may just be able to break the resonance between Mother and the Seed Crystal. Huh? Okay, so let me see if I'm understanding the plot. The Seed Crystal may or may not be something that is evil. Um, uh, I'm assuming that Emmeline was, like, sucked into said Seed Crystal sort of deal, and, you know, the, the cry of the Mother's heart is that she wants to see her son again, so locked within that power, it's altering... The, the, the strength, the magnitude of whatever this seed crystal is, and it's basically causing the world's destruction because she's so wrought with despair. Am I... It, hopefully, I'm... Either I'm really perfectly right or I'm completely fucking wrong. I'm, but I'm guessing that's kind of where the storyline is going here. What nonsense is this? What does Emmeline have to do with this so-called seed crystal? You expect me to believe this childish fantasy? He's got a pimp ring. Two pimp rings, as a matter of fact. Hello? Crazy Town's calling. They want their fucking mascot back. Fantasy, I think not, Uncle. No, there can be no doubt. Can you not hear it? A prayer of life. Yes, this world must be saved, no matter how great the cost. So again, is anyone concerned about the fact that this kid has stopped time? You wish to save Mother. If you care for your sister you once knew, then make haste for Fei Yin. The servants of the Seed Crystal will not hesitate to put their dark schemes into action. So they kidnapped Emmeline, da 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 okay. Hold it right there, boy. I must know, where is Emmeline? What has been done to her? 
Oh, you'll have your answers soon enough, my dear uncle. This kid is fucking evil. Yeah, he just vanished. That's cool. That's normal. What the cursed brat? See crystals and ancient songs? It's all patently absurd. Yeah, that's one way of putting it, and bullshit is another. But if the boy does speak true, then my sister truly still lives. For all these years, I thought I'd lost you forever that day. By the goddess, I won't let them take you from me again, Emmeline. Fabian, he said? I'd best be on my way. And never not, I trust you to keep quiet about what we've seen here today. If these unfound claims of the world's end reach the three nations, we have nothing short of a mass panic on our hands. Yeah, no kidding. Cats and dogs living together, mass hysteria. I intend to uncover the information I can and I suggest you do the same. But until we find out what the boy- Ah, but the boy's- Oh my god, words! But until we find out if the boy's words hold water, we are not to speak a word of this. Not even to one another. Until we meet again. Oh, that that's a cute little... You know what, I can appreciate that. It's a, not a speaking word of this, not even to one another. That's a good way, in gaming terms, of making sure that you're not going to see this storyline and then immediately walk to him and he's going to be like, Hey, so you want to buy my wares? Or do whatever the hell it is you know what I'm doing. And it would kind of like totally break the immersion of it. So until they find him, until the quest continues, he's going to pretend that the quest does not exist. A design choice that's actually very clever. I can appreciate that. So, okay. That's a thing. That happened. One, three seconds. Oh, I had to defeat 30 of them. Okay. You must wait once and respond to Mandragores again if you're repeating this with the Amber Key. You will need to get three Goblin and Impop skills. Why do I need the Amber Key? I wonder. Oh, God. Hmm. Okay. So I need to go to Fei Yin then, huh? Fair enough. I think I can manage that. Because I think I actually have... Because there's a... Am I going the right way? I'm, I am. I am. I'm just literally never over in this part of Quiffum, which is hilarious because Quiffum is actually a pretty small zone. But I'm never over in this like little section right here. It's a very quick walk to where the camps were, so... Visiting pretty much anywhere else was kind of like... Not really worth it. But I guess I'm going to Fei Yin and doing some shit. Something to that effect. Which is fine enough. I can kind of figure out what the hell is going on here. Maybe. But then again, the way he says, you know, it's good to see you're still, you still have a nose for trouble. Which assumes that, I mean, according... Obviously, they would assume that you still... That you were doing this after doing all the other main quests. Because, you know, this stuff was released well after most of the other uh, content had long since been... Uh, consumed by said consumers. And that's making me realize that the phrase consumer is really kind of like dastardly. You know, the, the customers it takes, and you're not a customer, you're a consumer. You consume products. You're just like, oh, that's... I don't want to be a consumer, guys. I want to be a good person. Castles of our keep. Good stuts. Rebel. Nord. I know I fucking got one of these somewhere. Ubi Arena. I, I did that. Like, I distinctly remember doing that at some point. Rebound, no. Castles of all keep, no. Fei Yin. There we go. I think this will take me to... Uh, wherever the fuck it's called? Kubia Arena? Because not that, because I'm clearly not looking at the, uh... The thingy to tell me that I need to go into Kubia Arena? Maybe that will do something? Aha! Cutscene Arena. Cute little, like, fuzz effect. Or whatever the hell you call that thing. Ah, uh, Narantine, we have no time to lose. Mother's being held captive within the walls of Kubi Arena. I tried to get in, only find my entry thwarted by a curious magical barrier. This must be the power of the seed crystal. We have only one choice. We must harness this power for ourselves and use it to negate the shield that bars our way. Remnants of the crystals can grow to be found scattered throughout these ruins. Their light has grown weak and their power unstable. But if you can retrieve them all before the power fades, we will use them to form the Mark of Seed. This is the key that will open our path. 
Do hurry, mother is waiting for us. And time is of the essence. What the fuck? Yeah, because this guy doesn't sound like pure goddamn evil, right? Is this... what? Okay, what mission am I on, anyway? Those who lurk in shadows. The mesh takes you to QB Arena, but the otherworldly force of the crystal bar is your path. The only harnessing power may gain entry. So, what do I have to kill? To collect nine seed afterglows. Each afterglow gives a different colored facet and spawns in a particular area of the map. Periodically, each afterglow will disappear and respawn somewhere else in the surrounding area. What the fuck is going on? What are the little, like, blue things? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's usually like a coffer key location, yeah? Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What the fuck is this? Upon selecting the afterglow, you will see X in your log window and can indicate the color. You will not receive any items or key items from them. You will receive warnings every 10 minutes that the mark on your hand is dimming. If you do not collect them quickly enough, it fades away and you must start over. Leaving Feiyin will cancel this mission, allowing you to restart it. Disconnecting in Feiyin, however, does not cancel the mission. You may select a mark of seed or an azure key. What the f- To collect nine seed afterglows. Huh? Hi, how are you? What the hell? Oh, hi. I was gonna say you're called Batarangs, that's adorable. What the fuck? I don't understand. Are there thingies over here? I don't like being in this part of Fei Yin. Or in any part of Fei Yin. Oh my god, they're aggressive. No. No, no, no. Nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Are they aggressive to everything or just magic? Jesus, are you kidding me? Is there anything here that's aggressive to just stuff? Each afterglow. For area of the map, see below. You're fucking kidding me, right? You're like, what the hell? Okay, so you guys are aggressive, but I'm too high level, so you can't touch this. Ba na 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 na. Okay. This is just what. All right, this is gonna be interesting. Also, I'm an idiot. I need to be spawning my trusts like right the fuck now, because I well, ironically enough, do not trust the situation in any way, shape, or form. Cause the. Fuck So I have 30 minutes in total, huh? Okay. You don't scare me, shadows. Go F yourself. Um, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Okay. First map, there's one afterglow for each of the four large rooms. They give red, orange, yellow, and green facets on the back of your hand. Alright, so this isn't that bad so far, I think. Maybe? I don't know what this is. One record Edmund's objective, okay. Has set the appropriate records of eminence. What? Wait, hold on a sec. What records of eminence objective is this? Oh yeah, hang on a second. I forgot to fix that. Level cap increase. Did that. Oh yeah, I forgot to do that as well. Soaring fists. 
Bridge. What the hell? What is this? What is this? Ow. I don't know what that is, but that seems interesting. Subjugation, I don't care. Vagary, Omen. Yeah, thank you. Level 75, Monk. Woot woot. What records of eminence objective are you talking about, you fools? Oh, hey! By the way, to prove to you that I've actually maxed out Sandoria, increase your fame. Oh, I have to speak to them. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I guess I can't prove that at immediately at the moment. Um, but what the fuck's going on? I have to go to these places. Seat Afterglow. Okay. So I, I guess I have 30 minutes from this point. Green Radiance. Almost at once. Okay, so... Which are the large rooms? Okay, so... I'm, I'm straight up, I am straight up looking at something on the Wikipedia, because what? This makes my brain hurt. And yes, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's a, a wondrous exercise in, in doing all of, like, the puzzly stuff to figure out exactly what the hell is going on. To be sure, having said that... Uh, orange Radiance, you know, grows with an either greater intensity. Okay. Hi, how's it going? Luckily enough... The hell are you? No, 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 nope, nope, you didn't see shit. You didn't hear shit. It's an NM, you know what? No, no, I'm not doing this today, good sir, no. I know, like, who, who are you and what have you done with SK? I'm not fighting an NM, no, no, right now I'm not, no, F that. Right now I just want to get my quest done. I'm also running in the wrong direction. Fuck everything. I don't care. Move, move, undead bats. I apparently have a half hour and I don't know how long that's gonna be, so. So I guess another one is over here-ish? Like, if I could show you this map, which I, I could, but I'm lazy, so I'm not going to. Um, it would make a bit more sense that apparently that this stuff is spread out between two different maps. And I have about a half hour to get all of this and start the quest, otherwise I'm basically SOL. Evidently. So I would like to actually uh, figure this out. There are nine colors. So I have red. Uh. Oh, that, that rumbly dumbly. What the hell? Did you see that little skitter thing it just did? It didn't walk. It did like a sort of Monty Python scoot with his leg. Did you see that? I rather enjoyed that. I know that was not intentional, but I kind of wish it had been. So I'm guessing there are coffer keys here as well? Or chests or something? That's usually what the little dot McJiggery stands for. At least on these maps. Ah, fucker. At least on these maps. Damn it, that's blocked. Oopie doodle. Why would I think it would be that easy? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. So... Green Radiance, Orange Radiance, Red Radiance. So, let's see. So I have to get all nine colors, right? Once I go here, I have to kind of like go all the way hell around. I may as well just go to the second map now and see what I can figure out and then just kind of loop back around, I guess. Because that would be faster than me trying to get to, like, the top left corner of the map where that B is. 
kind of where I want to go. Is that another thing over here? Oh, game, you fucking lie. Yellow radiance. Didn't I already have that? Green, orange, red, yellow. Hmm. That bothers me a little bit. That did not show in my little Wikipedia map, so that tells me that things have changed since that point. Perfect, Nugan. All right. So it's start, time to start spamming the shit out of things and hoping it works. Now, exactly what I'm fighting, I'm still not 100% certain. This seems awfully, like, fast-paced. Like, oh my god, you gotta do it real quick! Whereas, you know, it seems that the build-up is usually yeah, a little bit slower uh, in, in previous ones, except for, you know, like, the Shadow Lord notwithstanding. This, I'm assuming this is like one of those add-on scenarios because it does seem rather like, oh my god, time is of the essence, do the things now! Hi, how you guys doing today? Good? Good. That's great. Let me know how that works out for you. There's a dot, you bastards. Mm, just saw another dot. Where'd it go? Yes, I'm cheating with this thing. That makes me a horrible human being, but... Oh, it's above me, you bastard. Ha ha ha. Alright, it's gonna be one of these, huh? Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is and how it be and all that. Okay, so open the door. The ho door. A white radiance. Fantastic. So that's five. <clears throat> Let me see. Do 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 I just got you over there, didn't I? Alright. I just grabbed that. Isn't it still... Isn't that the same one I just grabbed? I am confuzzled, my friends. No, it's still there. The hell? Is it supposed to be there? Is it the same color? Is it a different color? Are they just gonna get mad and be like, eh, wrong. Okay, so in other words, I, I grabbed that one and it's just like, nope. Sucks to be you. Alright, so let me head north. In Map Town over here where it says Capricious Cassie. Oh god, I don't... Capricious Cassie, isn't that like a super powerful NM? That I don't want to F with? In any way, shape, or form? Woo, okay. Luckily enough for me, I still have... Um... Prison powders and silent oils and all that kind of stuff, so hopefully I will be okay. Colossus, alright, you guys are not agrolicious because I'm level 80, thank Christ. Up, I see you, see it after glow. Give me your shit, please. Cerulean lead. Cerulean, I need silver and gold. Silver and gold, silver and gold. Frickin' game with your thingy that does the, 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 the loud, vibrating, crunchy stuffs. I don't know why it's considered crunchy, it just... That's, that's the word that always pops to mind. I, it's not crunchy, it just seems crunchy? Oh no. See it after glow? See it after glow? See it after glow? Uh, you're probably above me. Oop. He doodle. Okay. So, yeah, okay. So I need to... I, I am doing this correct. I need to kind of loop around here. So I can reach 
uh, that one section over to where it says B. I can run south and get another uh, glow, and then I reach section B over there, and that way I can... What are you? Underground pool. Okay, that's neat. But I can loop around to where it says section B, and then I can kind of loop back up to that first area that may or may not have been blocked off. That way I can go ahead and... Um, get all of the nine thingamajiggers that I need. Where are you? Are you in here? Are you in here? Do you have things for me? Golden. Okay, so now I just need silver. Don't close on me. Thank you. Close on them. I don't really care. Yes, I'm an asshole. That's fine. Also, Fei Yen is super creepy, because it is it is just utterly silent. I mean, like, Delphit Tower is utterly silent as well, but this one just seems a little bit creepier than normal, because it, I guess it's like the shut-down one that didn't really work all that well. Or not not that didn't really work that well, it was the shut-down one that uh, the Tonberries blew up. Which explains why they have such a grudge, because they're like, you know, we gave up our lives to save the world, and you guys are just hunting us for sport because you think we're turtles or some shit. This perturbs me. I don't blame them. I would be rather perturbed myself. But I can't hate on Tonberries because they say doink when they kill people. Like, who can help? How, how can you? That's just amazing. Thus far, I'm just glad that I'm not aggroing everything here in a freaking 50 mile radius and that Fabian is apparently a surprisingly, like, eh, like low ish lower level area than what I was genuinely expecting. I mean, ignoring the level 99s and everything, I was, I always, back in my day, assumed this was like a level 75 area. Like this was max level because I never saw, like, again, I never had a reason to really go here. And so I just assumed any area that I didn't go to was like, okay, it's a high level area because I haven't been given reason to go here yet. Nerp to derp to her. And as previously mentioned, Back in my day, I was a total fucking nublet, so. Now, am I giving, like, key items sort of thing? Is this how this is working? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. I can do that. I'm okay with that. What's over here? Do you have things for me? Aha! You have afterglows for me, you Fucker. Ah, but there's another one over here. Ha ha ha. Blue. Oh. Hi. Hi. You're 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 an NM. Okay. That's cool. That scared the shit out of me. Okay. Alright. So I have red, orange, yellow, green. White, really gold, so I still need blue. Or I still need silver. So, green, orange, orange, red, yellow, white, cerulean. Gold, blue. Oh, I still need silver. Where the hell am I missing one? Also, I got a revival tree root. Yay! I don't know what that does, but yay! Do I have chakra? I do have chakra up. That's the best thing about chakra, is that it's just a really quick, like, hey, let me heal myself quick movement. Am I going the right way? I hope I am. This one, I have no idea where the hell I'm going. Okay, so this takes me in like a loopy doodle. Fuck. This actually, I do actually have to go through around B. And then like up through the. Fuck. Is that an afterglow over there? Am I lucky enough that that's like the last color I need?
I genuinely, like, do not understand this quest at all. At all. It doesn't make any sense to me. So I guess I still need the silver thing? So basically, I just have to get whatever color I'm missing. Hope to God I can get it before this time runs out because it's saying that something is dimming. So I have no idea how much time I actually have left at all. No discernible effect. I already grabbed that one. Great. So we're going to be doing some backtracking, boys. I hope you don't mind. Because I have to wait until I get the Mark of Seed. Once I have the Mark of Seed, then I'm good to go. I think. That is my understanding of the particular situation. And I head south over here? Is it, is it only that one spot? Because they say the locations can move. They can respawn in different areas depending upon what the hell is going on. So maybe there's one down here I don't know about? But all nine lights spawn in different areas of the map. I just missed one somewhere. Fuck it. Alright. We're heading down. No, we're heading up? No, we're heading down. Yeah, we're heading down because the first floor is how I get up to... Okay. Alright, I think I get it. Maybe. Yeah, this is the second floor. That's the first floor. That's how floors tend to work. One is usually placed above the other, unless, you know, it's it's fashioned in a hill or a mountainside somewhere, at which point, you know, why the hell are you building your stronghold in a mountain or a hill somewhere? The obvious strategic strengths of that notwithstanding, you're, you're living in a hole in a mountain. You know, not that I'm trying to judge, but... What's up, Colossus? How you doing? Okay. So I've gotten this one, I think. At this one, I have no idea what I have and have not gotten. So now I have to go back and check every freaking thing I see. And it's timed. I, I like the fact that it, it doesn't tell you that it's time. It's just sort of like, hey, vague bullshit. Have fun. Are you anything? And yes, I am totally using the shit out of this mini-map because otherwise this would be, this would be like the lostiest of lost causes, man. Ha-ha! I missed one. Mark of seed, please. Okay. I'm just a dumbass. I, no, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. Joaquin, could you like open the door for me, man? Thanks. Appreciate it. Now, how the... Butts to get back to where I- well, I mean, well, that's not true. I know- I kind of know I'm going sort of. Sort of. A little bit. Wait, 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 what is this? Oyster Frost. What is the Cloister of Frost? He asks with an inquiring mind because it has a home point, which means I can teleport right there to the, uh, will be arena and make my life significantly easier. Though now I want to see what the Cloister of Frost actually is. And why I do not have the telepoint for it. Hello? Mr. Cloister? Mr. Frost Cloister, sir? was not spawned there before when I was looking for these things, otherwise I would have promptly shat my pants. I mean, I think that one is relatively easy to, to solo at some point. I, I genuinely don't know. I'm a nublet and I couldn't tell you what the hell uh, any of that does. So that means at some point after this, I'm probably going to see if I can try to kill Capricious Cassie. And, again, that might be a hilarious end to the video to just get smacked down by, an, like, an HNM or whatever the hell that thing is. 
What's up? How you doing? Good? Great. Thank you, Spectre Man. Let me know how that one goes. And straight uh, blah, blah, blah. and strictly speaking, I'm just going to the cloister for us so that way I can just teleport directly to the uh Kubia Arena. Apparently it's Arena and not Arena. Sure. Don't aggro me. Oh, you okay. Alright. You wish to aggro. You wish to do the things that make you die. That's fine. You will know suffering gets there. Because motherfucking Shantoto is on the case, and you will not you will not understand the, the lengths to which you have poobarred your life until she, you know, double magic bursts your ass. Which by the way is goddamn amazing! I'm a little sad that didn't cause a weapon skill. Chantoto basically would have murdered the shit out of this man. You wanna start shit with me too, sir? You wanna do things with me? I mean, that sounds weird. You wanna start shit? There you go. Which is literally the same thing I said directly before that point. That's... English is hard. Okay. So, teleport to Callisto Frost so I can get back to Kobea Arena, so I can complete this thing, so I can probably go back and get destroyed by Caprice Cassie. That is the, like, you know, Reader's Digest of what I'm planning on doing here. Fantoda's just gonna kill him with the weapon skill. Yep, there it goes. That's a nice feeling. Lesson in pain. It's pretty sweet. You gonna start with me? That's fine. Let me get the telepoint. Don't give a shit about anything else, just let me get the telepoint. Event skipped? God, bitch, please! I think that's going to despawn them, correct? This also isn't going to spawn me into, like, a really scary area, right? There's no map for this area. Oh, so this is like an NM type thing, isn't it? I am curious. Curious, sir, and curious, sir. Oh, hey, it's almost been like an hour. Holy shit, it's been a while. Okay. So, Clooster of Frost, what are you? I know you're not directly relating to my quest, but I see you. You exist. What the fuck is that? What is that? Also, Kermit Headstone for my... Um... No, 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 no. Do not remove that until I have my trust out. Because I think I made that mistake when I was in Quiffum, and I may have very well died. So yes, let's let's spawn my 18 here. And make sure that uh we do not make that mistake again. Eh? Yeah. This is also has nothing to do with the whole like, you know, fight that I'm doing. Oh, I didn't have to I didn't have to fight anything! What do you do? It's a giant crystal. That it is. It is in fact a giant crystal. Okay. Giant proto crystal. That's pretty cool. So is that what they were talking about? That those five, those those five giant like chunks of like the mother crystal. They were using those to power things. So it's like maybe each pertaining element, like fire, ice, uh, water, earth, air, sort of thing. Maybe fire, water, earth, air, and I guess ice. I don't know. I mean, wouldn't there be a sixth one since there's six elements in this game? You know, light and dark, notwithstanding. May I have home point, please? For favor. There you go. Oh, this is actually home point two. Okay, current region. A in. Home point one. Yes, please and thank you. It's nice that this actually has two telepoints because it has those two specific areas. That's pretty nifty. Alrighty, let's go to Kobea Arena then, shall we? Yep, there we go. Let's fight some shit, yo, and hopefully I won't die. Because that would be heartbreaking, because it's already happened, like, f twice now. Can you, like, there we go. Yes, yes? No, no? Quest my jigs, please? Oh, there's me. Ah, 
Hi. So, you have come. We are the servants of the Seed Crystal. Enlightened by the ancient echo, we have traveled long and far to this sacred land. At the time, at the origin of time, there was only nothingness. An empty void, blacker than the blackest night. The seed crystal emerged from the darkness, shining forth with the light of life. So it was the paradise that the ancient gods were born. So it has been sung since time immemorial. This world of Anadil, the five mortal races. It was all Altana's was Altana's boundless love for the lost gods that birthed you from the nothingness. Now, the hour is nigh for you to return once you came. Valandir will perish and you will return to your rightful place in the void. Pitiful, wretched mortals. To think that the very love that begot you will now be your ruin. So who is this? So why is this chick even alive? Is she like... What the hell? Please tell me I can summon my people. Please, please. All right. So wait. So wait, where am I? Am I actually in the, the thingy? Huh? Oh, I actually have to go into the- Oh, I get it. I actually have to actually enter the battle fount- uh, Battleground now. Battlefield? Yes, those who lurk in the shadows. Okay, alright. Alright, brain is working. Lost key item, mark of seed. Okay, I understand now. So wait, that means if I die, I have to get that fucking seed again? Ha 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 ha. This music, though. Oh, fucker. Alright. Well, I started spawning them, and because I entered the battlefield, it didn't actually reset their timer. So, guess I'm using the C team! You motherfuckers better hope! Okay. So. Thank you for providing some much needed comedy, Rouge Dean. I, I appreciate that. Okay, so. Here's hoping for the best. I also want to travel down these places. I think I already did that, but I really want to, like, explore this area. This is a really big freaking battlefield, dude. Okay, so warrior. Thief, warrior, white mage. Okay, so the Yagudo dies first. Obviously. Okay, bye-bye, Yagudo. Bye-bye, Yagudo. Go fuck yourself, Yagudo. Go fuck yourself, Yagudo. You must die. Do I have my two hour up? My two hours still down? It's still down. For three minutes, it's still down. That's unfortunate. So y'all better just hope to God that you can kill the white mage quick. As long as the white mage dies fast, we should be okay. I probably should have added something else that has the healing capabilities because I think I'm frozen. I'm frozen. I am, I am still I am still frozen. I am still stunned. If I could be unstunned, I would be like totally awesome because I'm one of the DPS here. Thank you. Sandy's so waiting for me to do my thing. Come on, Pleadits! Kill the Yagudo. Kill the Yagudo. Kill the Yagudo. Don't stop attacking just because I, I tell you to. Don't stop believing! No, Sunny, what are you doing? Sunny, what the fuck are you doing, hon? Sunny. You know, AI, I, I don't mean to, to, you know, necessarily cause you shit, or that is give you shit, but you really really may want to think about the shit that you do sometimes. Also, it's also my fault for putting a shitty tank in here, but, you know, it's like real life. Holy shit, what was that? Fucking bound me. Oh, that's that's good times. Well, Sammy, you better run, girl. 
you best fucking run, because I am bound in place and there ain't nothing I can do for you. Oh. I know. I can cheat blast. There you go. I cheat blasted that ass. Isn't that great? Please don't make me redo this. I am begging you. Please do not make me have to redo this. I have fucking 55 seconds left before I can two hour. <laughs> this is why when you say, hey, why shouldn't you? Why not? You know, use your two hour. Here's a good reason. This is why you don't use your two hour. Okay, so two down. Ish. Here we go. Kill the quad of. 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 Kill the motherfucking quad of, please. Also, Karaha Baraha is now out of mana. That's nice. They're infected with a powerful disease. Alright. That's nice. That's fantastic. That's, that's wonderful. Um, actually, they're all out of mana now. That's good. Do I have my two hour left? Five fucking seconds. All right. Oh, sweet Jesus. I hurt. I have a goddamn vile elixir. That might be the thing that saves my life. Okay, so. I am going to be tanking. Um, so, he was hoping that I don't die before that becomes the case. Job ability, Chakra. Alright, here we go. This is not ideal. Uh, Sammy, if you guys could um, attack the shit out of this man, please. Pretty please. Did I, did I win? No? No, he just teleported behind me. That's cool. That's cool. That's fantastic. Guys, help me, please. Help me. Please help me. Please help me. Please help me. Please help me. I'm going to die. I don't know what this is going to do, but maybe it'll do something. Maybe I won't lose. Semi, please, please murder this man. Here's your game. Please, please do some kind of tanking. Please. That action might save my life. Sunny, please, please attack. Please, please kill him. Please kill him. Please kill him. Oh. All right. See? No problem. Not a problem. No issues. Oh, ha, ha. Let me just go, like, wipe my hands off real quick because I can't hold the controller. Foolish mortals. What you know, what know you of love? What know you of hatred? Beep boop. Oh, poor Gobby man. The seed crystal has returned to this world, summoned by the strains of the ancient lay. The song this woman sings with her heart, though she realizes it not. Ancient terrible memories long since lost to the sands of time come flooding back, and the fate of this world comes full circle. Wait a minute, all it was the kid from, um, from the, the start, like, the starting quest, like, the, not the starting quest, the, uh, the starting cutscene. And the girl was the one that kind of, like, pushed him through the, uh, the, like, the hole to save his life, and I think it was basically heavily implied that she was killed, right? Before long, the primeval melody will reverberate through the Hall of the Gods. Before too late, Vanadil's return to the Void is inevitable. Okay. So, fuck you guys, basically. So, Rujadine is never tanking anything again. Ever. <laughs> ever. Yay! I obtained an ivory key! But seriously, apparently me killing, um, me killing that rock and getting that, that vile elixir literally saved my life. Alright, see? Doing stupid pointless bullshit like that is actually worth something, guys. What did I tell you? No need to wait after Japanese midnight. Da 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 da. Okay, so now what? Nope. Missions. Remember me in your dreams. 
Okay, so I go to the Hall of Gods and, and start things there. All right, but I think that's a good stopping point. Uh, if you guys like what you saw, also, I'm, I'm alive. I'm still amazed by that. Uh, if you guys like what you saw, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. It would really help out, and I would love to hear feedback, good, bad, or otherwise. And I will see you guys next time. Somehow, someway. Peace out!